Tight ends. Who are we starting? This one's low hanging fruit because it's all I got. I've had Dalton Kincaid. And honestly, he's only had one good game this year. He had 13.1 points against the Jags and that just destruction of Jacksonville. But now he's got Baltimore and you may be thinking, well, tough matchup. Well, they've actually allowed the second most PPR points of tight ends this year. Jake Ferguson had a big game against them last week. So I'm going to start Kincaid and I'm going to start Cole Komet. But I would also keep an eye on the status of Keenan Allen because that could change things. But the bottom line here is that Cole Komet has seen his snaps go up and his targets go up. He had a massive game last week. And the Rams defense, not good against tight ends, even dating back to last year. Cole Komet could be on the waiver wire. Pick him up and start him. Tell me who else am I sitting? Hunter Henry is dealing with an ankle. He's had two bad games in three weeks. And last week, we saw him actually lose snaps to Austin Hooper. Now he's got the Niners. They've given up the six fewest fantasy points of tight ends dating back to last year. The only saving grace for Hunter Henry is that the Patriots get into a game script where they have to throw. Then again, it's also Jacoby Brissett throwing them passes. So that's not good. And then Dalton Schultz, much like Henry, he's been seeing a full complement of snaps, but he's only been targeted 11 times. That's it. And he's averaging three point nine points per game and the Jaguars have allowed single digit points to all but six tight ends to start of last season. I would fade Dalton Schultz and also keep in mind too the Texans have Tank Dell, they have Diggs, they have Nico Collins. There's a lot of weapons there. Schultz has somewhat been lost in the shuffle.